if you're looking to pitch your story to the media, it's likely because you have a story or particular message in mind that you want to tell on a mainstream digital or live stream platform. Unfortunately, Pitch it to the media is never as cut and dry as copying and pasting a singular pitch idea before sending it to every news or media outlet you can think of that might be interested in covering your story because media pitches require real nuance and precision. In this video, I'm going to cover my three most important tips for tailoring your story to the media outlet your pitching. Hi, I'm Jeanette Burke, media personality, mentor, and trainer. I bring over 20 years of media, journalism, and PR experience to the table on my four-time award-winning lifestyle web TV show, Jeanette's TV, and my podcast, Jeanette's TV Podcast, where I interview celebrities, thought leaders, game changers, influencers, and experts on lifestyle issues. In addition to my shows, I also do media mentoring and training, which is where videos like this one come to life. So let's get into it. My first tip for effectively tailoring your story to a particular media outlet is to review the outlet's recent coverage for any connections you can make to your own business product or service such as the topics they're covering and the guests they are featuring. For the better part of nearly two years now, the easiest way to do this was tying your story in with the pandemic. If the story you want to tell involves the pandemic, that would be a great way to tailor your story for some media outlets. Meanwhile, if an outlet, a media outlet, has recently been looking slightly more towards the post-pandemic future, you won't want to pitch a story about how your business struggled because you needed to shut down operations back in June of 2020. That story, for some people, is now passe. So, you need to try something else. Next, try pitching to a specific journalist, not the larger media outlet, who has written or produced content you can somehow connect to the story you want to tell. You're not likely to find success pitching the story of your beauty and fashion business to a sports editor, reporter, or journalist. However, a quick browse of a media outlet's list of journalists or reporters or interviewers or TV show hosts and a look at their past work can help you identify any particular journalist or reporter who might be more receptive to your specific story, to featuring it. Finding an email or phone number for that person and sharing your pitch directly is a great way to tailor your story and improve your chances of it getting picked up. Finally, Referencing a specific recent story released by the media outlet you are pitching, or even better yet, a specific reporter or journalist you are able to find contact information for, and emphasizing the connection between that story and your own could greatly improve the odds that your pitch is at least not immediately disregarded. If a journalist recently wrote a story on how the impending end of pandemic aid is set to burden small businesses in your area, tying that story directly to a pitch about your business or how your business persevered through the pandemic may serve as a signal boost to that recipient of your pitch and give them more reason to run or feature your story. At the end of the day, your goal is to get your story picked up by media outlets who cover your topic and who can amplify the visibility of your business, product, or service. So you need to be able to tailor your story rather than 
hitting copy and paste on one pitch idea and expecting everybody to be interested. It's a final step you need to nail in order to accomplish your goal. Now, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and your family and your coworkers, subscribe to our, our YouTube channel for more content like this, or you can also find all of this type of content right on our blog at www.jeanetteberg.com forward slash blog. The links will be in the description below. Please also consider supporting us on Patreon and no donation is too big or too small or purchasing Jeanette's TV and Jeanette's TV podcast merchandise. We've got sweatshirts and t-shirts. Finally, if you're looking for a more in-depth focused training like this and your business, feel free to book a complimentary 15 minute discovery call with me to see if you're a fit for Jeanette's sponsor spotlight package which does include a spot on Jeanette's TV and podcast. All the links are in the description below. So I'll see you next time. And I hope to see you in the spotlight. Bye for now.